and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Simic Ramp. It's our next donation deck. Um, this is a this is a strategy that you know, been fairly popular for the last few sets, basically ever since um, ever since Nissa was printed in War of the Spark, and Agent of Treachery was M twenty. Yeah, so yeah, we got three straight sets. You got Hydra Crisis, and then Nissa, and then Agent of Treachery for the top end. And of course, M twenty gave us Risen Reef, Cavalier of Thorns, um, and yeah, you know, like this deck's all about just ramping, getting tons and tons of mana, getting a ridiculous amount of mana. And just using Finale of Devastation, Endra's Forerunners, using those as finishers. But of course, Hydroid Crisis, Nyssa, Cavalier of Thorns, Agent of Treachery, all of that works as well. Not really too much fancy stuff going on here. You know, like, so this is, um, this is a pretty tried and true, very good deck list. Expecting us to do pretty good. Um, we have Return to Nature and Mystical Dispute as our throne of eldraine main contributors but i guess really it's the castles are like the main contributors from throne of eldraine um, especially castle vantress uh, so late game whenever we do ramp a whole lot we don't just uh, flood out we can find uh, more gas with with the castle vantress but yeah let's give this a try we're gonna you know it's a donation deck so we're gonna play a league we're gonna play till we win five or lose two whatever happens first And here we go. Let's ramp. Awesome, Bivalence. Cool. You have a Dorito emote? Man, now I want some Doritos. All right, great looking hand. Just gotta draw two more lands, of course. But we got we got an extra draw with the Grow Spiral. I assume our deck has a ton of lands in it. Twenty eight, yeah, it's a lot. Hello. We'll just main phase the Grow Spiral, and in, in, in case we find something that costs one or two mana that we want to play. All right, turn three Nissa or turn three Cavalier, whichever one we want to do. I guess it's Cavalier because of Lovestruck Beast. I can just, you know, chomp with a Boreal Grazer, though, also, and play Nissa, and then I can play more things next turn. If I had, like, if I had, like, you know, something else to play as well, but I really just don't have anything else to play. It's like, if I would, if I'd be able to untap Nissa, like, untap with Nissa, and then play multiple cards, but that's just not the case. Close your eyes, breathe, and listen to the sounds of the wild. My, my, how you've grown.
They get to just minus Vivian and take out the Cavalier this next turn. Or, like, sorry, they get to minus Vivian and take out the Nissa the next turn. Tough spot. They're killing the Cavalier? That's not correct. They bite. Hmm. I don't want to trade Endrace Forerunners for Foulmire Knight. Definitely trade a land for a questing beast. So I don't know. They also said trade for the love struck beast instead of getting damage in.
as the The crisis here would have traded with the the left the questing beast. Is that sound bug still going on for y'all? That sound bug's been been bothering me the last little bit here. I can hear it on my end. Alright, we're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need two more lands. It's a finale for ten. There's one of the lands. Music seems louder than usual today. It's possible I'm just not I'm not speaking as loud today. That that's definitely uh, possible. With the blocks that I made there, we were gonna have lethal without a land. Like we didn't actually need to draw that land for finale for ten. We were going to be able to um, just go finale for nine, and then the crisis. You know, five plus nine was fourteen. They were at thirteen. I feel like there's some like were y'all not hearing that is that normal that I don't know it's really bothering me What are we playing against? Uh, green black stuff? I feel like Risen Reef is maybe too slow. It's weird to kind of cut just a couple of Risen Reefs though, isn't it? I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to be playing, like maybe taking out Risen Reefs and playing more Ether Gus. Oh, is that sound gone? Yay, that sounds gone. Yay. Well, 
Well, hopefully we draw ramp. Sound's gone now. Yeah, that it was is going the entire the entire uh, game though. Like even before like a risen reef or anything else, it was going the entire game. It's either play Finale for two to play a Leafkin Druid, or Krasis for two. I think I'll, and you know, like, basically play one now, save one for later. So which one's going to be more devastating later? And I think that if we get Finale for X is seven, go grab Agent of Treachery, steal a Lovestruck Beast. That's kind of where I want to be. Un unclear um, if we'll stay alive long enough for that. Five fives hit really hard. I will protect the virtue of this world. Be wary of the ground to walk on. Yeah, day's going good, Zerf. Day's going good. I got a ton of work for taxes. I'm trying to get all my, my taxes from last year filed. Meeting with the accountant with the accountant tomorrow morning. I did a ton of work to pre prepare for that. So I've been very busy. There's no way for me to. Uh, I guess I could do that. Block, block. I would rather Ether Gust, Love Struck Beast. But if I Ether Gust, Love Struck Beast, then I have to chump block, or then I have to chump block with an island on the Questing Beast. Which I don't love that.
I'm at two. I'm taking one. Uh, I'm taking lethal. I can steal Questing Beast with Agent of Treachery, and I have three blockers. But they have five attackers, and I'm at two. I, I don't have any life gain in here, do I? It's gonna get to four blockers. I mean, yeah, I guess I could get to four blockers, I think. I can't get to four blockers, can I? Never mind. Yeah, we need to play these Ether Gus. Alright, Risen Reef's too slow. Get Ether Gus back in here. And I guess get Grazer back in. Ceratops can trade. Get Quasi Duel, get out of here, play Ceratops. Ceratops can trade with Love Struck Beast and Questing Beast. Alright, that's that's a better sideboard plan. I would not say the Quasi Duel gets bad. All you gotta do is put it on, you know, Cavalier of Thorns. I have Cavalier of Thorns mill it over. And it can just be game winning. I I won game one because of quasi duplicate. Without quasi duplicate game one, I'm not winning that. I was not winning that game one at all. So it's not a bad card. I had to use the land to block the questing beast, either that or Ether Gust Questing Beast, and put it back on top where they'd have the 4-4 four, four the very next turn. We we need to draw a land here, obviously, but we're a 28 land deck, and we just have to draw a land in the first two draws. I was hoping that our 28 land deck could do that. We our first land our first draw was a brick. Second draw also a brick. Alright, last, last time I played the Krasis for two, and I kind of regretted it. We're going to go leap again for two this time. I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. We're going to tear you apart. No blocks. All right, this is looking a lot better for us.
Looking a lot better now. So I'm guessing that they have a Noxious Grasp in their hands for how they keep on looking at the graveyard and deciding whether or not to use it. That is correct. <clears throat> I'm gonna get Nissa back. I'm gonna be casting Ether Gust on the Love Struck Beast. To tuck it so it can't attack for this turn or next turn. Reggie's pretty big. <laughs> the Final Fantasies are so long, though, Choco. But yeah, I, I do. I do plan on having extra streams and streaming more other video games. I'm just. Uh, it's not the best time for me right now. With how busy I am, but. That is something I want to do in the future. Like, like we talked about before, Link's Awakening, I think, will probably be my first solo game. Of course, I need to finish Overcook 2 with Boot. Two, four, six, eight, nine. It's a close one. Let us talk of peace. Staying alive. He's trying to stay alive. The land fights for us. Oh yeah, sure, Druid could have blocked a one one. Oh, 
world makes us true power. Yeah, Druid could have blocked a 1-1. One, one. The land shall conquer you. Either guys can protect my Nissa, kind of, if they if they just have like Noxious Grasp to kill Nissa. I get to put Nissa back on top of my library. That's why I'm holding this Noxious Grasp. Or the sorry, that's why I'm holding the Ether Gust. Not even blocking a 3 3 with Love Struck Beast. It really doesn't matter. Alright, we survived just long enough. There, that one was looking kind of dicey for a little while. We survived just long enough. GG's. Hmm. This hand is perfect, but no green mana. Hand is not perfect. But it'll do. I don't know what to put back. I kind of don't want to put back... Like, Quasi-Duplicate is obviously the card that looks like the card to put back. I mean, it's the one without the card style. And it costs double blue. But playing Risen Reef on three, which is obviously my plan right now, following up with Quasi-Duplicate is awesome. I would assume they have no removal my Risen Reef and everything, but I didn't really want to put Riz the Quasi Duplicate back. <laughs> Y'all think I should have gone Krasis back? Candice, you can just you can just uh, add quotes. Whenever y'all like quotes, you can you can add quotes. Yeah, it looks like keeping Quasi Duplicate would have been great. You know, we drew another blue source. My opponent is just playing a Simic deck without much removal. At least that's what it looks like. It looks like keeping Quasi Duplicate would have been great. Every single card we drew was a land 
except for the card off the Risen Reef triggers. We didn't get to we didn't get to ramp with that. <laughs> but every single other card was a, a land. We didn't do a very good job of Risen ramping. Yeah, turning, playing Nissa on turn five. Not ideal. Not the not the turn you want to be playing Nissa. Okay, sideboard in. Sixty-six here. Sixty-two. What are the last two cards we're taking out? Finales? I guess. Yeah, we could cut lands. I don't really want to do that. But we could. Uh, Viper, if I if I would choose between this and Jund, I would choose Jund, like for the MCQ. This deck just is, I think it's a little slow for the metagame, for how fast like the Rakdo, all the Rakdos decks are and everything. Growth Spiral so good. I'm not sure if I'll be playing the MCQ. Because I'm traveling, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to make it back in time, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to or not. I kind of wanted to go Hydro Crisis for four there, honestly.
Aether Gust doesn't counter a card. It just takes a spell and says, choose the spell the owner puts it on top or bottom of their library. So it just takes a spell, and then the owner chooses whether to put it on top or bottom of the library. It doesn't counter a spell. Attack. Either gust. This one's looking good for us. Yeah. Game number three. Can we win on the draw? You know, like that game, my opponent got stuck on two lands for a while, uh, which certainly helped us. And of course, we were on the play. So, can we win a game where those may not be the case? Yeah, being on the play is a, is a huge deal in this matchup, for sure. Good. Leaf Kindred resolved. Get us more mana. Last time they had all their forests in one green source this time all the islands uh darn that was not the land i wanted Ugh, i want land but i guess we need to keep the dinosaur Oh my gosh. Why am I so bad at auto tapping? Did a, did a poor job of auto tapping there.
Well, that's a good turn for me. That was a very good turn for me. No other ambusher, no, you know, no nothing. Basically, we're going to fire off this dispute at, like, anything now. What? They want to race? How are they not just dead by doing that? What are they going to do with Island Castle Vantress that they're not dead? How are they not just dead? You know what these cards do? Like, maybe they thought that they were going to get another wolf at end step with Ambusher. But they played a spell. I think that's my best guess. They thought they were going to get a wolf. And forgot. Ugh. Forgot about playing a spell so they don't get a wolf. Alright, Ravu Guru. Have a good night. Um, yeah, the Titans are definitely really interesting. Yeah, it seems like every time I play against a McFlash and I beat him down with Ceratops and they always have like the Nightpack Ambusher and they never trade and then they always lose to it. And by by this, this scenario, this happened like two or three times in a row. By me saying always. And each time Twitch chat's like, they should have should have traded Ambusher for Ceratops and I was like, and I'm always like, yep, probably should have. The sand's pretty rough. I I don't know if this is even better than a random five, to be honest. This is about as bad of a hand to keep. But we're just going to draw perfectly. Against Hallowed Fountain, Hallowed Fountain. I'm sub in here. What's up, Jeff? Like me later. Thanks for the resub. How many months? Half a year. No, that's awesome. Thank you. I'll protect you. That's our sixth, sixth sub of the day. Um.
Could just go Agent of Treachery, steal the Temple of Silence. Go this route. and reefs. Yeah, sure, I could have played Agent on Teferi. I, I don't think that... I wasn't really worried about counter magic, though. So, like, I don't... I would have rather taken a land. If I could have taken a land last turn. All these lands. All right. Turns out, draw ten. Put them. Draw ten lands. Put them into play. That's pretty good. Ten rampant growths. All right, dispute, negate, Siri, Siri. How do you win? I don't know. Ask Siri. So basically, Cavalier of Thorns, I am worried about just, like, milling over all my stuff. I think, like, the first Cavalier of Thorns is fine, but, you know, like, they just, like, we play Cavalier of Thorns, they just bounce it with Brazen Borrower and Teferi and stuff like that, and, and we just kind of mill over our library, and I don't love that. I could just take them all out, honestly. Hey, Errol. Hi. Uh, you don't you don't really need finale pig combo, you just cast finale and you can kill him. You don't really need the pig combo. No, there's not really enough dinosaurs in standard to make a dinosaur deck. I think you just have uh, the. There's only three that come to mind: with shifting ceratops, rotting regisaur, and marauding raptor. There's probably more than that, but those are the three that come to mind. Yeah. Um, historic, yeah, historic has has enough there. Yeah, Jundine is. Oh yeah, Thrashing Brontodon. That's true. That that was reprinted also in M twenty. Right. There's a fourth. green Wow, 
Why do we put this Castle Vantress in our mono green deck? What are we doing? This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. Not expecting to be able to cast Negate or Mystical Dispute with Teferi Time Waster on the battlefield, but you never know. Guess might as well might as well try. That is a very impatient opponent. Maybe this impatient when you're playing Asper Control. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Alright, another blue source, that means we get to activate castle. My favorite card from Throne of Eldrain. Don't worry, I got this. Probably Charming Prince. I like Rankle a lot too. Rankle's really cool. Find them all to the bottom. That's more like it. We'll get game three. We're gonna lose this one, but we'll win. we'll win game three. We'll be good. Trust me, I have a plan. too slow now. Word logs. All right, test drive. All right, cool. When would you like that, Birdlux? What deck we got? Big Orzov. Okay. Is 
third or fourth tomorrow. Today is Monday. Okay, yeah. I'd like to be able to play Crisis for four here, but we can't because to activate Castle to get six mana, we don't have a blue mana source left. So now by, by waiting another turn, I can get another card off of Crisis. It's... It's, you know, bad against... They know I have Agent of Treachery. They have to have... They have to have Counterspell then, right? They're not going to just let me steal Thief of Sanity, right? Hey, what's up, Plague? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, it could be Disdainful Stroke, could be Mystical Disputes. Just nothing. That didn't stop. Like them having a counter spell. Obviously, I'll just jam Agent of Treachery this next turn. It's possible they, they just have Teferi in hand, and then I Agent, I steal Thieves Andy, they just go Teferi, bounce Thief, put it back in their hand, and so they, they didn't mind that much. They wanted me to take Thief over taking a land. I don't actually save any mana by activating castle. me sure Bob 
That'll work. And then just Kaya's Wrath away, the Serpent? What are we doing here? Not even Time Wipe to pick it up? Just straight up Kaya's Wrath? Yoink. No, not Thought Erasure. You can take any... You can take my good spell that I have left. Alright, we're three and oh... <laughs> Sanity stolen. GG's. <clears throat> That's why I don't really like that, that six mana flash thing as a finisher. I don't think it's very good when you're trying to play a bunch of sweepers and stuff. I don't know. I don't like that card that much. In in that kind of deck, in like a control deck like that. Be maybe a little bit more Demir tempo oriented. Simic Ramp? Was that your question? Simic Ramp's always... Or it's usually been favored against the control decks. Just too much card advantage with like Resin Reef and Krasis and and everything, and then you know you get your counter magic after sideboard. I assume this is a Fires of Invention deck. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just good old Naya stuff. I honestly don't like... We're just going to talk about things I don't like. I don't like Andrei's Forerunners in this deck. I think this is... This just helps you... Like, basically, I just think this, this card is just kind of unnecessary. And that... Uh, whenever you get up to, like, those kinds of mana, it's not really that difficult to find ways to win the games. And they're... They're just games like this where it's just in your hand where it does just does nothing. And that's not good. Together we will prepare. Harness the elements. Yeah, I guess you call that that one more card, yeah. One mana divination. That's good. Hey Viper, yeah, feeling good. I 
It's risky of them having another Defiant Strike and then killing Nissa with a Defiant Strike. Um, be wary of the ground to walk on. I mean, we could quasi duplicate some end race forerunners. Yeah, so it's you said that. Yeah, Pig's not great when you draw. It's mostly there to tutor up with Finale so you can win through a Clog Duck board. I mean, whenever you Finale for 10, does, don't you just win, though? Like, how do you how do you lose when you Finale for 10, anyway? Even if there's no End Race 4 runners in your deck. You can either get Agent of Treachery and take their best thing, or you can just go grab a Hydroid Crisis and just have it be a 10-10 Flying Trampler. Like, are, you, are we still not winning at that point? Yeah, you also have, like negate counter spell. I mean, well, so forerunners doesn't matter there. I mean, I'm just saying like if forerunners isn't in your deck, like you don't you still just win? Pretty sure you can grab Crisis and it's a ten ten because you had to finish. Resolving the card and everything. I'm pretty sure I've done that. Before. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I've done that. So, Endurance Forerunners looks like it's going to win this game for me. And this was not necessarily a game I was going to win after I was talking bad about the card the whole time. Yeah, that's... Uh, 
23 that we're attacking for. They got six to block. So yeah, that's lethal. <laughs> so you know, like that's <clears throat> that's some justice right there for you know, we could we can see that Ilharg is watching over the boar god. Ilharg is like, no, you're not gonna talk bad about my forerunners. <laughs> Don't you dare sideboard it out. Pig duplication. That's right. Okay. Um Either Gus seems to get everything. Do I play Negate or Grazer? Negate. <laughs> Quasi baconate. <laughs> now we gotta put three more forerunners in for game four. Or for the. We gotta put. We gotta just put in a bunch more forerunners now. Yeah, I'd like a double double order of bacon, please. Uh, the reason why I'm playing Negate here is because of Feather. You know, like we're playing against a Feather deck. And <clears throat> and then being able to like recast our spells over and over again, like the way to get rid of them is by negating them. Darn it. Should have kept that card on top. Ugh. I could have gave them Breeding Pool and then drawn the Aether Gust, then we would have gave them Forest. Wow. If I just didn't, if I would have just kept that card on top with my Scryland, would have been a lot better. Yeah, I felt like that one was going to be a land. They're going to Aether Gust their Season of Growth. Sure, you could grow up in response to Robber Trigger. It doesn't really help you. They just take the next card. Like the Robber Trigger still resolves. Probably going to Aether Gust the Nissa. Which kind of made me want to just play Hydro Crisis first, but we still should just play Nissa first.
Uh, I guess mass manipulation is for like mirror type matches, like other other ramp decks. Um, to be able to like basically other Nissa decks, you steal their Nissas. Other mid range decks that aren't playing a whole lot of removal, but playing like planeswalkers. Um, if you play against like a, a Jeskai control deck with a lot of planeswalkers. Not a lot of stuff in the current metagame. So, but yeah, the mass manipulations may be a little unnecessary in the sideboard. But if you, if you were playing, if you're gonna play against other Simic ramp decks, it's like the best card. So that's really where it's at its best, best in is the mirror. He can't gust a temple. Tis colorless. Sure. Seems like a free block. Let's take out that thing. Yeah, they probably forgot that they had Aether Gust. Or, yeah, I guess they thought they could bounce Temple. Yeah, like, that was the main thing. They thought that they could Aether Gust the Temple. All right, well, playing a 10-10 with Negate back is pretty nice. <laughs> Off Fran Nissa. What happens if I Agent Nissa now? Then it'll come over to my side, and then I have two of the same Planeswalkers, so I have to sacrifice one of them immediately to the Legend Rule. And so I'd only be able to choose one. I could plus the Nissa that I currently have, and then steal the new one, and then plus that one up as well. Tapping the planes? <laughs> Getting us a bag. Uh, we're playing against a, a Naya Feather deck. Sorry, I'll, I'll get a new Nissa. Mid Ranger, re seven. Thanks for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. I appreciate that. So number eight on the day. The land shall conquer you. Let's 
So I think they're planning on attacking with Arcanist and recasting that one card that... <sighs> yeah, that card. If they're going to do that to kill Nyssa, why are they also attacking Nyssa? Oh. They're dealing damage to Hydro Crisis. No, I didn't get my Nissa back. I was looking at that. I was like, man, I'm going to just have lethal. I'm not going to be able to get this Nissa back. <clears throat> okay, we are 4 and 0. Oh. With Simic Flash here. Y'all know what that means. That means we are on the final boss. Here we go. Final boss time. Simic Ramp. See how we do. Oh, I didn't even get my final boss emotes in there. Keep. Scry top. I'll block you like a hurricane. If you try attacking over here. Wow, so rude. Basically doing this block, even though obviously I could just block the Cauldron Familiar, but I like them wasting their turn and not having any open mana to respond to Quasi-Duplicate. What's, do you think the actual fire sacrifice ramp meta is more fun than Vamo times? Vamo times. Not sure what that is. The 
than vampire metagame. I don't know if we were ever in like a... I have to discard castle. Kind of annoying. I don't know, with Field of the Dead, I'm not sure if we were ever like technically in like a, a just a huge vampire metagame. But um I don't know. I like I like standard right I like standard right now. My least favorite deck are like the is the adventure deck and honestly. Yeah, I definitely think it's more fun than Field and Oko. Yeah, I didn't really like Field or Oko. Yeah, it's more fun than those. So we're at 10. Did I play a land this turn? Does anybody know if I played a land f first? I did not play a land yet. Good. So yeah, I wanted a forest. Like, they're very dead next turn to Finale of Devastation, right? So like, we just, all we're doing is getting as much mana as possible out here. Stop. We got 17. Land? You're not land. Get out of here. Of course, I need to discard the Endraise Forerunner so it can be in my graveyard because Finale Devastation can get the creature out of the graveyard as well. I don't know how much mana I have. It's probably a lot. So that's 18 plus 6 is 24. I, mean, I guess that's just 10. So that's, wait, I said 18 plus 10 is 28, 29, 30, 31. Um, can we do this for 30? I mean, we can if we want to tap a bunch of stuff. Wait, so that's 31. <clears throat> 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41.
can't do it for 40. I can only do 39, I think. Let's just see if 40 works. I think it's just 39. Tilt. They have three mana, and I'm doing finale for X is 39. <laughs> that is completely absurd. I mean, what was that, like turn six? We went Risen Reef on three, and then... Risen Reef, four, five, six, I think seven. I think that was turn seven. That was definitely not more than turn seven. <laughs> at, the, at the very latest, that was turn seven. Which is absurd. I mean, I could have played two couple Asian treacheries first, too. All right, somebody asked, how do you submit a, a donation deck? Um, just whenever you donate, like the, if you, all the information's down below. There's, there's an info about like in the donate panel, you click the donate button. That's how you get there. Whenever you donate, just send a link to the deck. You know, you can use like MTG Goldfish or whatever, whatever website you want to link your deck. Just because we won that, I, don't, I really don't like any of these cyborg cards. Um, just because we won that game like that doesn't mean that we are going to necessarily win the match. Yeah, it would have been a lot more damage if I didn't tap the creatures for sure. I could use Grum Gully. Now, Return to Nature would only destroy the four Witches' Ovens. Um, it's just not super likely that they have one of the four Witches' Ovens. It's kind of, you know, if you think of like just the math, it's more likely that Return to Nature is going to be a dead card than it do something. And Witch's Oven isn't, it isn't so devastating that I need to play it. <laughs> There's the clip. Oh man. Well, I should have played that last turn. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I've done better before. Now I have to take a castle instead of a breeding pool. I'd rather have the breeding pool in play because of Castle Vantress. Still rather have that breeding pool. Breeding pool. Still. 
That's capital T. What happens when you quasi-duplicate forest lands? I guess they would just be zero zeros, right? It sounds like a bad idea. Oh, it's just a land, it's not a creature. If I, obviously, I could attack there and I don't, you know, like, they can't kill it, but the problem with attacking there is they get to block, you know, get to block with Cauldron Familiar and get to draw another card. I don't really want them to just be able to draw another card easily. All right, we got five lands down at the bottom. Tilt. Really? Hey, life approved expenditures. Thanks, Sir Eccles. Thanks, Larissa. Thought about bringing in mass manipulation to take to take a one drop, but decided on not doing that. Pucko. There's a chance that was pronounced correctly. Give to the sub by Zerf. Thank you so much there, Zerf. How's your how's your first day back? First day back to work today after the holiday vacation.
little busy, but nothing too bad. It was good. All right. Awesome. This doesn't give creatures haste, right? Not as vigilance and trample. So it would be good amount of damage. If I play that. Or we can get more Risen Reefs in play. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Hydro Crisis. Yeah, well, I also played I also played quasi duplicate to play an extra risen reef, and then I drew a Nissa, so I played the Nissa, and then played it Hydro Crisis for eight. It's a lot of stuff. Pretty sure that's lethal. Risen Reef definitely won those games. Poor little mono black deck. All right, but there is our 5-0. Let's go. There's the 5 0. So, yeah, like like we kind of talked about before, Simicramp, like this deck is just really good. It doesn't, um, it's, there's nothing too, uh, nothing too fancy here. You know, like this is just a tried and true deck that's just really, really solid. Um, Yeah, Endra's Forerunners doing its thing, ending games. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I that's about all I have to say about the deck. Just, uh, yeah, it was just a very, very good deck. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of Simic Ramp. Leave those comments. Um, how'd you like the deck? All that kind of stuff. But uh, thank you so much for uh, watching some Simic Ramp, and I'll see you for the next video.